So, uh, in addition to the video I made about how to make Moscato from scratch from your own grapes, um, I wanted to add a few things to it. So, what I did is I actually made a label, and a label um, made from a, actually I made it on Fiverr. I took a picture of the area that we live in, and then came up with a name, and, and then they have the style of wine and the year, Moscato 2023, Cascara de Piedras is the name of the of our vineyard and um, sent out had a roll of labels made and now I have an actual label roller that works really well and I'm able, I'm able to roll a lot of bottles pretty quickly and accurately and they turn out really nicely and I think this will actually stay on there and will be waterproof so once I finish this bottle of Moscato I can clean it and then put it in the box for Moscato and save it for later when I do another Moscato next year and I'll have the the bottle labeled ready to go. Um, but in addition to that, to finish the bottle off completely, you gotta use the these heat shrink capsules that you can buy on Amazon. There's all different colors. You have like a burgundy and a black. Um, they have gold, white, uh, designs on them, green. Uh, and for this specific bottle, I'm gonna. I bought some gold ones for this. I think a gold's gonna look nice in the Moscato, so I'm not gonna do this one right now. I'm gonna go back to a Pinot Grigio that I made um, before the Moscato, which I didn't film. Um, but as you can see, it's uh, it's got kind of a nice auburn color to it, um, perfectly clear. It's a very good Pinot Grigio. We're very happy with it, and we're kind of going back and forth in the black or the red and. Originally we thought black, but then in, the, in a certain light, the red actually kind of blends with the, the color of the wine. So we decided the red would be good. So it's all personal preference, but these things are so nice to, and easy to use. You could use a blow dryer, but this is a heat gun. It works a lot quicker. It's more effective. Um, one of the keys when you do this is making the cork, make sure the cork is flush. So here's an example of a cork that's not flush. So when I corked it, I didn't push far enough down. When you do that and you use the heat shrink gun on the shrink capsule, um, it'll start to actually kind of deform and it won't really look good. I think I have an example of that here, actually. So this cork was not corked all the way down and it's not deformed, but you can see the, the silver capsule on top, it's kind of sticking up. It's not really well done. It's kind of obvious that that was not a good example where this would be a great example of how it's supposed to look. So it's completely flush. You can't um, pull up the edge of this gold tab at the top. And you do that simply by making sure you cork it flush, or at least flush or below flush. This one's a little bit below flush, which will turn out perfect. Take the heat shrink, really simple, put it on. Just slide right on. Keep the heat gun up and the blow dryer. Just kind of hold it in place. I, I like to start from the top, and it goes quick. It goes very quick. Let's go around a few times. You don't want to get it too hot. It doesn't take much. That's it. Now it looks like a professional bottle of wine. It's got the tab to pull off the top, and then it's um, and then you, you cork it from there. Now that looks like a completely finished, beautiful bottle of Pinot Grigio, something you can buy in the store that we made at home. Um, coming up soon, I'm, I have a new idea. I'm going to try to make kegged champagne. And I think it's a good idea. We'll see how it works, but I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keg a five gallon keg of champagne, of, of wine. I'm gonna tr turn it into a sparkling wine which I'm just gonna call champagne. And I'm gonna be able to tap champagne on tap in my backyard. So look forward to that. Thanks for joining me again. I'll see you next time.